leadership uh, sometimes gets thrust on people. Sometimes people grow into leadership, and I think in Chanda's case, she grew into leadership. She breaks some of the conventions about what people think about when you think about a traditional leader. She can deal with every situation with calmness and a smile. What you always, uh, I think what is always remarkable about when you meet Chanda is that most people instinctively figure out she's a leader. On a global platform, she's a pride for every Indian. Everyone knows Chanda as the quintessential banker uh, and uh, as the woman who leads from the top. I distinctly remember uh, Chanda walking in uh, into ICSA Limited. Um, it was long many years back uh, as a young uh, MBA uh, and uh, a brilliant MBA, I must add. She was extremely unassuming. Uh, it was something that, you know, at every semester you'd never even ask her as to what her grades were because she was just deemed to be topping. Chanda's life has not been easy. As you know, she lost her father very young. Her mother was her role model in bringing up three siblings. The early 60s in a small town like Jaipur in India, it was not very common for uh, people to focus on a girl child and a girl child's education. You can see uh, the makings of a leader even in somebody very young. And uh, there are uh, a lot of traits that are uh, recognizable. The ability to multitask ruthlessly, to uh, deliver uh, outstanding performance consistently, uh, to continue to be a mother, a wife, a friend. I think her tough-mindedness, her sharp focus, uh, the fact that she always goes by the book at the same time brings great entrepreneurial energy is quite, an, quite a combination. I think she's a very, very positive person, very solution-oriented. And if there is any perception of hers being, uh, you know, like an iron lady, it's only a perception. Never seen her angry, lose her cool, or for that matter, even being upset. She'll just tilt her head a bit to the side when she's giving you a very tough message at times. There's a smile, but it's, you need to do this better. Uh, I've had that feedback. I think she has that gift to straddle, both macro and micro because sometimes the devil in the detail lets you down. She's able to manage both work and uh, life uh, in a sensible way. In my view, uh, you know, work-life balance is not about choosing one of the two. Um, in my, my view, it's about doing both of them and doing both of them well. She's always connected always connected. I think that is her hallmark. Even if I were traveling uh, and, you know, being in a different time zone, I would make sure that I wake up and speak to my children at 7 a.m. India time uh, before they are leaving for school. But she has got right from uh, the menu in the kitchen to the kids' school uh, work to uh, next morning's uh, what they had to do, all set. I've seen occasions where she's uh, in some remote corner of U.S and she's still connected with my son who's standing at the bus stop in Mumbai. It does mean a lot of time management and I think it means uh, a minute by minute prioritization. I remember once in, when she went to Washington, she did an, a one hour meeting and left within one hour and the computer couldn't capture the timing. For all of us women, especially someone in a position like Chanda, time is the enemy and she seems to conquer it. Chanda was uh, the appraisal officer for uh, Reliance Industries and one of the first loans that we got from ICICI, uh, Chanda was uh, really with Mr. Kamath, part of that team. I would go and do some factory visits and uh, it was not very common for people to see a young girl roaming around in their factory doing their checks and their audits and doing, uh, you know, a project appraisal and so on. There are very few women who, which do exist, which have been the top of their profession, especially in the financial services sector. This has been a male-dominated industry and not just that, when I started my career about 33 years ago, um, you know, India was not that evolved as far as accepting women at the workplace is concerned. The challenges all women face, and I'm sure Chanda is no exception, are the classic ones. Getting married, motherhood, and sustained motherhood. 
you know, we've always realized also that women have certain special needs at certain life stages. And uh, we, th we saw that, you know, some of the women were really finding uh, it a little difficult to go that extra mile when they had very young children or some of them even when they had old uh, parents at home. Through this, what the employee is able to do is not just, you know, on the side do some data entry from home, but actually continue with the regular career uh, for even as much as a year or so. But when there is a woman leader, for her to do this, uh, you know, it's to me even more challenging because she then has to uh, make sure that nobody says that she is now swung too far in one direction. I think she has uh, kept this balance brilliantly and taken uh, forward the legacy of uh, running a truly gender neutral organization. And she is definitely a role model for most girls. You know, invariably when we are out in a restaurant or shopping, you'd have so many girls come up to her and tell her about you know, how she really inspires them. She has done every single role in the bank, so you can say that she naturally evolved and grew. Chanda is an ICICL lifer. She has grown through the rank and file of the company, which means obviously that she is extremely astute. Uh, she has a great business acumen and an inside out uh, understanding of the banking sector. She has really built on the legacy that Mr. Kamath had established of uh, digitizing the bank, digitizing consumer services. Now, when she took over the retail business, Probably 95% of the transactions took place in the branch. But within the next five years, uh, probably that came down to 25% of the transactions in the branch. In a way, we have changed the way banking is done in India, uh, the way Indians do banking or their relationship with banking and relationship with money. She's at the very forefront, the tip of the spear in change. And I think financial inclusion, broadening uh, the access of financial services to people. By the time Chanda finishes it, we can be proud that all Indians will have access to credit. All the very best uh, for all the endeavors that you will undertake uh, in the coming years. All of us as Indians are proud that you have represented Indian women. It makes not only us at um, the bank proud, but it makes, I'm sure, everybody in India proud. I think she's done India proud. So uh, congratulations, Chandra.